Hey, you're in the kitchen with Tanya, and I'm coming to you. Uh, I had some requests to talk about the healing of autoimmune disorders, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story because to me, low fat raw vegan is the, the way, the truth, and the light um, in food and healing. When I was a girl, I grew up in um, South Carolina, just, you know, my mom fed me raw weenies and Lucky Charms and whole milk and, you know, grilled cheese sandwich, just, I don't know, liver mush, grilled liver, uh, I don't even want to talk about that, but just like everybody else around here in the deep south eats, you know, you had some grits and some white bread biscuits with some red eye gravy and ham, you know, that kind of stuff, so that's how I ate. And, you know, I was fine and I didn't become sick till as I got a little older and my body started backfiring on me. Um, I developed IBS, I developed leaky gut syndrome, um, nodular acne so bad that I had to go on Accutane, which almost destroyed my liver. I developed lupus, um, arthritis in my joints. I couldn't even move my hands. I couldn't get my rings over my fingers. Um, it was so bad. Years ago, I used to be a nail artist, and I had some customers, one in particular that had lupus, and she had had to go on methotrexate and prednisone, the same drugs that they wanted to put me on, um, which was the only option doctors would give me for my disorders, dis-ease, and I watched it cripple her, make her worse, and eventually kill her. And I just wasn't going to go that route, so I started searching and searching. Meanwhile, my weight was skyrocketing up to 209 pounds. I don't come from a slim family. My dad probably tips the scale at 350, and I have his same body stature. Um, so I started looking for other alternatives. I, I've read over 100 vegan books. I've read and watched literally thousands of Dan McDonald videos during Rider Freely, so many people that I have so much knowledge in my head on the hill and I, I want to help people, I really do. Um, so I, I started going vegan, I went cooked vegan and I started getting a little better. I would have some days where I was better and could get out of the bed and I seen myself and, and I just never was realizing the full potential of my healing until I went raw and at first like a lot of people who go raw vegan they they incorporate a lot of fats because you know there's a lot of things you can make with nut base and, and avocado base and all that but it's not where the true healing is the true healing is in low fat high carb raw vegan I'm here to tell you because I lived it from experience if you want to heal from autoimmune disorders that's the way to do it it does take time, but it's the answer. It's the answer without drugs. It's the answer without going down that long road to result in only your organs being damaged. It's not worth it when, when the true answer is there. So, um, it took me about eight months, six to eight months to lose from 209 pounds to about, I was about 130 for a long time and my weight kind of keeps going down. I have to really pack in the calories to keep it in now because my body is zingy and it runs at optimum health. I mean, people people can't keep up with me. That's how good I feel, you know. So I want to spread that message out. I want to bring you recipes and show you how it's not just fruit and um, salad with nothing on it that you have to eat. Oh, no. <laughs> no one eats as well as Tanya. So, um... I, I don't know if I'm missing something that I want to tell you about the autoimmune disorders, but there is a way. Um, so stay with me. I'm going to be bringing you some more recipes, uh, starting out with some dressings, because I feel like to stay on low-fat raw vegan, people, there's a few components missing. You start to think, well, dang, I want more than fruit. You know, I want more than just a salad, and I want to go out to, say, the restaurant where they have salad, and I want to get this big salad, but then, hello, I want some dressing. Well, you know what? For a long time, I used to make my own dressing. I would tote it around in my pocketbook, and I would have, like, the Annie's Organic um, 
dressing bottles that I used to use a long time ago and I would clean them out and I would just put my own dressing in there. I would even like label it just because I could, you know, <laughs> like Tanny's Ranch or whatever. And so I would do that. But now I just, I'm like, I fly free on it. I mean, I can go out of town and there's fruit and vegetables everywhere. There's there's dates everywhere. I can go to a restaurant and I can eat a big salad and I can tell them what I want on it and what I don't want on it and I don't really mind. And if I want something, I mean, I might just pile on pineapple chunks or I might pile on tomatoes or, you know, people that still use oil in their diet, they could use a little bit of olive oil and vinegar. I don't use those things now, but you have to start where you are and progress from there. You have to keep on doing it every day, not just think, dang, I can't do this. It's too hard. It's too, I'm like an alien in the world. You know what? If you want different, you got to be different. If you want different, you got to do different. So stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing you the recipes you need to stay on. Okay. Bye.